the third floor here of the city center mall. And just look at how massive this place is. It's very rare that we get to explore a place this large that's still intact with very minimal vandalism. Offices and businesses up here. You can see this would have all been glass. This was probably like various offices. I'm not sure what business resided here. But you can see the skeleton of what remains. Some sort of glass design here with the frosted covering. the original bowels of the mall. And these look like big shipment doors. Oh, it just keeps going back. Various, I wonder if... This is like the old stairwell, but how do you get onto this stairwell here? Because this just loops around. I put something here so I don't lock myself in. But how do you get onto this stairwell here? There's no way to transfer onto this stairwell. These are just completely separate stairwells, which is so odd. And I feel like you don't really see in a normal building. This is a bit concerning. There's lots of spent bullet casings that litter this hallway here. I think it's a 45, 0.45 caliber round, but I wonder if it's like Semunition rounds or what it is because they're they're all littering the floor here like there's another one there several up here like it's like somebody just dumped their mag up here it's whatever those bikes look out of place Hello? I mean, it looks like someone was living here. These clothes seem not super old. And then they have like pieces of bikes here, which I don't know if they were here originally or if someone brought them in here. It's just a very interesting story that we can only guess at here and oh look at that this old photo was by the elevator that's in the main section of the mall and I'm guessing this was like a bunch of employees I didn't even realize there's a hallway here
Looks like all just office supplies. Various papers left behind. But it looked like someone was staying in that front office. Look at this. Looks like someone's prescription medication. The label's faded away. There's still pills inside. Formerly known as the Hamilton Eaton Center, this mall was constructed in 1990 on top of the old Eaton's department store location as part of a massive effort to breathe new life into the city's downtown area. After Eaton's filed for bankruptcy in 1999, the mall as you see it today was rebranded as the Hamilton City Center Mall. Look at this place. And you can hear there's like no reverb coming in from here because it's the soundproofing from these cubicles. But this would have been like a full on office center. Number one super deals. I wonder if this was like a dollar store or something. It doesn't look like too much is left behind. But you can definitely see what the place used to be like. There's still like some product and stuff laying around here. I think this is the entrance right here. You can see all these sale posters. And oh, look at the old signs hanging up. Very cool, and they had the checkout along with a wall of shame. I'm guessing it's like people who like stole from the store. Whenever I see photos, addresses, and other sensitive information left behind in abandoned places, it always bothers me to think how unknowingly vulnerable these people are. And with seemingly every business asking for all your personal details these days, it's not crazy to believe your private information is possibly being sold somewhere online too. I tried googling myself and found a lot of what I thought to be my private details were in fact very public. Seriously. Don't Google me. Data brokers sell this kind of information to spammers, scammers, and all kinds of sketchy people. That's where today's video sponsor, Aura, comes in to help. Aura cleans up all my personal information floating around online, which not only reduces the amount of spam I get, but it also protects me from threats I can't see. Hackers trying to access my social media and even bank accounts stand no chance with Aura looking out for me. Aura also provides loads of other security features such as antivirus, VPN, password management, rental controls, identity theft insurance, and so much more, all packaged under one umbrella for a really affordable price. They're also being super generous right now and offering a free 14-day trial for anyone who uses my link, aura.com slash uncharted travel, found in the description below. I value my privacy and I value yours. So sign up today and sleep better tonight knowing you're protected by Aura. Now back to the video. Apparently this was one of the last anchors of the mall here. You can see they still had the cash register booths here. You can see the scarring on the floor from where the shelves would have been.
this space looks cool. This is one of the more untouched facilities that we've seen. Educational foundations. This place looks like it was abandoned long before the mall was closed. But just everything left behind in here. The old Sears catalog, 2008 again. It's a sign of the times. Holy. This is like a time capsule straight out of the 90s here. Got the old filing cabinets and desks with computers as far as the eye can see here. It looks like a couple modern PCs on the right. No, I suspected there's no power to this place, but could you imagine? These corded phones. Computers, just like a huge throwback to the 90s slash early 2000s. It's a lot of these filing cabinets, but they're either empty or they just have like random objects like glassware in them. So it looks like they did clean out at least their important files. But still, there's just so much left behind. It's wild. It looks like we're headed into the, what was the food court section of the mall. Don't recognize any of these names, but this was like a, I guess like a breakfast place, coffee and donut. You can see. Pretty small area. Here's their back kitchen and fridge. You can already smell the fridge. It's been opened and yes, it is smelly. Oh my God, there's like dead maggots along the top. It's so bad. Okay, I don't wanna to spend too long back here. Minus the drywall and a little bit of decay. It's everything's still here, like all the chairs. All the old signage. This looks like maybe it would have been a subway at one point. I know it's the signs show otherwise. It looks like uh, I don't know, like an Indian food. Wild Punjab Tiffin is the name of this place. Closed in 2022 or 2023. Show some of the more interesting spots because a lot of them are pretty bare. But holy, someone tore through the chrome front of this counter here. But you can see this was like a was like Italian with pizza, but it also had like chicken fingers. So I don't know, it's just like a standard like fast food place. Because they have a pizza oven here. And then right beside it, a deep fryer. Yeah, it looked like it was just like some sort of standard fast food. This place looks like it has a lot left behind. Indian vegetarian cuisine. It looks like they had something that was 
still cooking here. You can see the ladle's stuck and it's, it's like a gelatin now. That's gross. But you can see they have lots of food items and spice. It smells of rotten food back here. But these guys just left everything behind. You can see it's like some animals like nested in this cupboard here and tore up this newspaper to make its like bedding and just oh my god this is probably where the stove used to be and look at all that grease and gunk build up holy this place I mean I know it's abandoned now but it definitely did not look like it was up to health and safety regulations. Oh my god, yeah, like fridge and freezer. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god. Holy Oh my fridge. I shouldn't have done that at the end. Fridge and freezer full of stuff. Everything's on fine, okay. Looks like maybe this was part of the mall that started its demolition. Various items strewn about here. Foosball table in the form of hockey. Interesting. And look at these little board games here. The museum, it says. Oh, this would have been like an escape room. Very cool. So I'm guessing this was probably one of the themed rooms that they had. Looks like they just have some of the furniture left behind. That's so cool. At first I was thinking it was like a movie set, but now that I'm looking at it, I think it was an escape room and this was probably like, these were various pieces that would have played part in the escape. It couldn't have been all of these rooms though. I wonder if this was a different themed one. Hang sunflower art over bed, iron the linen comforter, set up the window plus drapes, install the white wall in shelves in the ensuite bathroom left wall, dress bathroom stuff on shelves, install towel rack on ensuite bath, empty junk from non-set side of room, but don't throw out mattress, plastic, furniture, boxes, etc. Put batteries in alarm clock, dress the small side table, give the plants a little water, but not too much. Looks like a room with more props from an escape room. The more I've been wandering through here and the more I've been reading, it looks like there were like puzzles and stuff on the walls. So I'm guessing these were probably all props or puzzles for the escape room. Door is not part of the puzzle, thank you, yeah, so. I think that seals the deal. Look at that, there's like a boat in here. That 
that's so cool. This section here looked more recently renovated. And at first glance, I thought it was a club, but I didn't see what was past here. So I decided to revisit this area. Look at this place. Holy. This is like a miniature bowling alley in the mall here. I think there is more lanes if you go deeper back because I mean, this lane only says 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, like there, where's one through 10? But I don't think they have any of the lane board here, but you can see they were starting to lay the framework and the rigging for like the monitors and the stuff and they had the classic bowling seats and screens, kind of retro vibe. Like a kid's bowling shoe here. You can see the shoe closet in the back here. Thunder Alley. Oh, there's the second shoe. And it looks like a bunch of little kids' shoes. Oh. Stage for large bands, 20 lanes in total, private four lane VIP section with its own bar, three party rooms for private event, full restaurant, lounge, full size arcade with prize counter. Oh, wow. These would have been all the lanes and it looks like they had started prep to put all these lanes in, but it never actually finished. Each lane still has all the pin setting machines here. They were just completely left behind. And you can see, and these things are not cheap either. You can see what probably would have been the carpeting for this place. Looks like they had a couple of sheets of it here. I don't know if that would have been my first choice for carpeting, but sad to see it here. This looks like a full on bar that the flyer was talking about. So they did assemble a good amount of the facility that they were planning to set up. It's a shame that the mall closed. Yeah, so there was four VIP lanes, like it said. And they had their own private bar here. That's awesome. So this was like, I mean, aside from the lanes, pretty much everything was set here and ready to go. The mall thrived for many years as a core piece of Jackson Square, Hamilton's largest commercial and entertainment complex. I myself have fond memories as a kid sitting in the food court watching the central elevator go up and down the mall's three floors. In its final years, the mall mainly housed local independent retailers. After a steep decline in foot traffic, the mall officially closed December 26, 2022. The land was then purchased by a developer who planned to demolish the building and construct a series of condominiums. High interest rates paired with a tough market have put these plans on hold, however, and so the mall currently sits vacant. With its lights off, hallways empty, and stores closed. The once vibrant Hamilton City Center now remains a lifeless ghost of the city's past. Thank you for watching.